Good afternoon crafters. Today we're going to be making an origami stocking made with um, uh, Stampin' Up! Designer Series paper and today I'm using the Christmas Cocoa Specialty paper that's available in the Holiday Mini until January 4th, 2010. So it's just around the corner so you want to be sure to get your order in. But we're going to start out today. If you have a score pail, go ahead and get that out. If not, use your other scoring tools, whatever you use. And the first mark that we're going to make is actually at 6 inches, and I've already done that on this piece. So um, once you have made that score mark, you're going to fold your paper in half, open it back up, and you're going to turn your paper 90 degrees. If it has a decoration on the back side, like the, uh, the bird on the side, you want to make it put your paper at the opposite side. You're going to score again at one inch and this time instead of folding the paper in we're going to be folding the paper out. Okay, Just like that so you'll see it on the other side. And then you're going to take your paper again and turn it another 90 degrees and you're going to score at three inches and at nine inches and then you're going to take your paper and you're going to fold in and fold in again so that you have kind of a little book and you'll see it all folded in together and that's actually where you want to go with this is the, the long fold. You're going to take this cardstock again and we're going to score it at three and a half and you're going to fold it in half, open it back up, hopefully I didn't get out of view of the viewfinder there, and we're going to take the cardstock and we're going to fold the, the line of the paper along the three and a half inch fold that you just made on a diagonal. And this part is a little bit tricky, if you have a, a bone folder you might want to use that just to give you a crisp clean fold and we're going to open it back up and then we're going to take the paper and it actually folds down inside just like that and you're going to open it and you're going to take your paper then and fold it straight up just like that so you've gone from the diagonal fold, folded it out flat, and then fold it up straight, and then we're going to bring it back down, and you can start to really see the booty here. Now the designer series paper, at least this particular one, is a little bit heavy, and you may be running into difficulties getting your crease exactly right. You can play around with it once you get it all folded to get all of the fold marks correct. But we're going to take the paper now and we're going to bend down that top corner like that and we're going to take each of the corners and fold them up and fold them up and you'll get a nice little crease here so it looks like the, the edges of the booty and then what you want to do is take your snail and we're going to adhere at the bottom and at each of the sides so that it will actually form a little stocking. Oh, I've got the top half. And you can stick a candy cane or whatever and I have a completed one although it's not Stampin' Up! paper it will show you what I have done. And there's the completed stocking and you can put candy canes, you can embellish it however you would like, and it's just a real quick simple project. I know that we're all rushing around trying to get done for the holidays. Um, if you need to purchase anything, you can visit my website and that will be showing right at the bottom of the screen once the video is on, online. I hope you all have a blessed Merry Christmas and we'll see you in the new year. Thanks!